Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is John Hammond, coming back at you again with some of the Google CTF uh, challenges solutions. Only a few of them, not really anything big and hefty, just the ones that I was able to solve, which was uh, not a lot. So, all right, next one we're checking out is the Can You Repo It one. Really, like, low point value, and a lot of people solved it, but nowhere near as much as some of the others that were... Get even that were even worth more, like more points than this, like 50 or so. Some of the other videos that I did. Anyway, uh, the question is: Do you think the developer of Ill Intentions, which is a uh, another challenge they have up top here, Ill Intentions, do you think they have a public repo? They know how to set up a public repository. So, here's how I did this. Um, Ill Intentions is just an Android APK. So I like for hours. I was actually spending way too much time on this than I probably should have. I was trying to do this. Um, by, like, searching GitHub before, like, strings that I found in this APK, or, like, trying to search Google, like, trying to be, do some internet scraping with, like, Google dorks as to how to actually get this file, etc., etc., and find it, like, online. But that didn't end up being the solution for me, anyway. Here's what I actually did. I ended up running strings on the whole Ill Intentions APK, and I was doing some perusing in here, I found an interesting string that related to git, obviously. It was just simply git user. And, okay, that's what ticked me off. That, okay, there's got to be something in here that actually is, like, relating to git. So I kept poking around, and I was wondering, like, okay, this looks like a Caesar cipher. It turns out, like, did you really think it was that easy when uh, you break the Caesar cipher? No big deal. Uh, but this this was an interesting string. Leet dev 42 uh, because it had so like, <laughs> because it was like all lowercase and had numbers, I like, honestly, it didn't, I didn't, I didn't see it initially or for a long time. Like it blended in with all the other random stuff that strings was giving me, but I did pick it up eventually that elite developer 42. And I, I figured, okay, that has to be a username. That has to be something. So I went to GitHub and I tried to search just by it, elite developer 42. And it found it finally as a user. Awesome. And it had a single repository called test app and he joined on April 27th so like okay perfect timing for the CTF this all looks perfect and he had, he had a whole repository so what I did was that I went ahead and cloned it git clone test app okay cool so I've already cloned it my bad and uh, now we'll go into test app and there's a bunch of stuff in here uh, looks like Gradle things and stuff for uh, app, there's probably more stuff in here, blah, 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 elite developer key, and or whatever. What I did in this case was I actually just grabbed for everything and tried to see, like, oh, is actually my CTF in here? Is my, is the, is the key? Is the flag anywhere in here? That didn't work. Since it's a Git repository, I figured, oh, okay, maybe it's in some of the commits. So I ran git log. I could see first commit, initial commit, blah, blah, blah. And then this interesting one was, oops, removing the passcodes. So I figured, oh, okay, it's got to be somewhere in the Git stuff. So I actually ran git uh, show. And that gave me everything that was either added or removed. Uh, after some perusing, I could definitely see the key password is equal to CTF. The haircut took a lot of my mind. So we did find the flag. We did eventually find the flag. I'll try and write something. I'll try and, we'll try and build something that will actually find this for us, or at least run like a get flag script for us. Because I want to be able to do that. So hopefully we'll actually get somewhere with this because I haven't I haven't s tried to prepare this. Let's see if we can write a get flag dot pi script and disregard the current flag that was just shown down there. That was for the last challenge. Um, probably something really calling um, uh, CMV or shell. I guess I'll call it. So what we would have normally done was we would have done shell uh, call git clone on uh, this repository, right? I guess I'll say that as a repo. This has to be stringified.
So you would be able to clone the repo just like that, but now once you've actually done that, what you can do, if that, after it has been cloned, you can move into it. Uh, change directory, I think. And the name of it, the name of the repo is uh, repo dir can be repo url dot split just to get the very end of it. Repo dir. That is correct. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. And now what you would do is you would run, I guess shell dot check output to be able to see are we going to be able to see everything that we would have looked at from the shell so I'll print out and I have to split this again okay so you can see everything and if I run git show now it would have it in there and now we can scrape out that flag with re again I'll just call this content Match equals, oh, whoa, whoa, lost parentheses there. Match equals re. You guys know the drill. I normally do this. CTF. Okay, so now we get our CTF. Um. Is that the constant for it? Import re. No underscore. My bad. I should have done that with some of the other ones because you would have to know that, oh, okay, it's not all capitals in this case. So if I didn't have this, it wouldn't be able to find it. So I'll put that back in here and I'll run if matched just to make sure it actually does get a match. But okay, that's how we can scrape our flag out. I'm really just actually calling the shell command git show, which is kind of a hack, and a cheap hack. But, and again, I'm also operating under the impression that we've downloaded the repository. If not, we can just run it to clone it, just like we did a little bit, just a bit ago. But that's how we can simply scrape it with Python and find our flag for us. So, simple stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, again, it was pretty crazy to like run through that because I was banging my head against that for so long and it was only worth five points. So it wasn't a big deal, but I knew I could solve it and that's why I kind of tried because so many other people did, but again, it was only worth five points. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Sorry about the like hack and scripting put together thing that I just did. That was really gross, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, you're still cranking out more of the Google CTF challenge solutions. Thanks. See you later.